What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Jay Hall. Let's get straight into it. Are men stronger than women physically? Yes. So this question has gotten very taboo nowadays. Mm -hmm. People cannot admit that men are stronger than women. This used to be common knowledge, but nowadays it's just masked with delusion, and I don't understand. That's it, just yeah, on average. Not, and if we're Random taking... Cases. I think it would just be so hard to find an average. I think is what the conclusion that I might have somewhat come to last Stupid. time. But so she just said a whole bunch of nothing, and look how the other girls react. Individual man and each individual woman, and there's Stupid. a list of the one. Like they are literally laughing at her, bro. What? Anybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I have no idea. I mean, no, like nobody understands what you're saying because you sound so stupid. Come on. I, I literally, literally have, have no thoughts. clue. Like no one understands the words that are coming out your mouth. Shout out to Chris Tucker. So she just confused everybody in that room and they all are laughing at her. And this goes on for like 20 or 30 minutes of them trying to present evidence and shove some logic into this girl's mind because her mind has no logic. It's all air. I, 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 let me just ask the question Are men physically stronger than women? Stupid. She still can't answer the shit. Wow. I don't think so. I think it's more just to do with my personal experience with my mother and like her, like I know she could whoop anybody's ass. Like my dad. No, she, your mother could not whoop anybody's ass. She thinks her mother can beat. What, what is this? My mommy could, could beat up anybody. My mommy's really strong. What are you talking about? You sound like you're 12. Up 80% of men. If that ain't delusion, I don't know what it is, bro. How, what percentage of men do you think your mom could beat up? My guess would probably be... Fist fight. No, like, hidden weapons or any shit. Teeth? Nails? Yeah, everything. Sure. Dirty. Anything to the Anything you could, she can use. Fighting dirty, I think approximately... He, the, the man can fight dirty, too. Yeah, yeah approximately 80%. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it just so happens that one of the girls on the panel is a fighter, and she understands how strong men are compared to women, because she spar against men. And, well, not because like, I fight. I fight. I have senseis that will slap me in the face. It doesn't matter how much I'm like, yeah, I got this. I'm a, yeah, I'm just mad. Like, let's just go, man. We'll you don't see this a lot, but that's a based OF girl. <laughs> you don't. Especially ones in a Spider-Man onesie. You just don't see the basedness from these types of women be in my place so fast like it's not funny and the next lady to talk some sense into her is actually a feminist she's what you call a good faith feminist it's really important that women understand like this is why when women talk about like feeling unsafe around men and men like are poo-pooing it it's like no this is why this really really matters is because the power disparity between the average man and the average woman i'm the same height as and my I husband he would if he wanted to kill me, he could kill me at literally any time, no matter what. And only if I had a gun could maybe Based. I do. And if we're in close quarters, I still might be fucked. And she probably doesn't know that men don't show women our true strength, especially when we play a fight. We play a fight. Right. How many times have you guys been out and about and you see like a woman maybe slap a man and he does nothing about it? I'm telling you, these Gen Z kids out here are ruthless savages because back in my day, you never put your hands on a woman, ever. No matter what she did. You take that lick and you just keep pushing on. But back in the day, women also knew to not put their hands on a man. Women would never hit a man. They would never do anything like that. So, like, it's much different nowadays. But these Gen Z kids, these hands are rated E for everyone. Y'all wanted equality, you got it. <laughs> I've been seeing these Gen Z kids straight rope-a-dope these girls. Oh, man, times have changed. Times have changed. We use like half of strength. We don't go all out because who does that, bro? You are weirdo if you go all out on a girl for real play fighting. But us men, we know how strong we are, man. And that's why you want to see us willingly challenge a man that's like six eight, twice. Bro, girls can't even open pickle jars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cass will be like, baby, I need help opening these pickle jars. She knows. She knows. <laughs> Our size. We go up to him with caution. Jesus. But some girls will be five foot going up to a guy that's six eight with their chest up with all the bravery in the world. Hey, what's up? Hey, one by one, what's up? Security guard, are you? Bitch, walk. Because they know that these men will not hit them. They have full confidence that these men will not hit them. Loki, go to your place. 
Go to your place. Go lay down. I want you on camera. Lay down. I want everybody to see how cute you are. Um, he likes to lay. He likes to lay um, on my feet. But I'm like, nah. I need a co-star today. Um, but yeah, these women know that these men will not hit them. They know that we will not put hands on them. So that's why they get to act so confident. It's wild to me. My mother and like her, like I know she could whoop anybody's ass. Like my dad. No, she, your mother could not whoop anybody's ass. She thinks so much. What's up? Security guard, are you? It's crazy. <laughs> and I actually found a pretty interesting Reddit story that ties this all together. So this man, he play fights with his girl and he lets her win. Cause you know what I'm saying? When a girl's on top of you, just let it win, man. As long as she got the ass on your waist, you good. <laughs> so he lets her win until one day he really had to go somewhere and he was pressing for time. So he just pinned her down. And then when he did that, she realized that he's been holding back his strength. Mm -hmm. He's always been that strong. And after that, she just started acting weird. Check it out. One day, we were chilling on the sofa, watching a show when I realized I was running late to meet some friends. I told her I needed to shower and make a move. She decided this was a good time for a play fight. She sat on top of me to pin my arms under her knees. I played along and struggled to move her off me. A little more wrestling took place, with me playing along like I do. Then I told her I really need to make a move. She was not done and continued to hold and push me back onto the sofa. Eventually I decided I need to win this little fight and get going. So, I got her onto her back, held her hands near her head, leant down to kiss her on the cheeks a few times and let her know again that I was running late. She tried to move her arms and could not. While struggling she grunted out, why are you so strong today? I laughed and looked at her like she was joking. This was my second mistake. Her eyes went wide with comprehension and she stopped struggling. Are you always this strong? She asked, almost to herself. Come on babe, you did not really think we are of equal strength, did you? I replied. I then went to take a shower, got ready and as I was heading out the door, I noticed that she might have been a little upset. Me, being fully aware that I do not fully comprehend the mystery of female emotions, had no clue why she was upset. I did what all men do, I guessed. I gave her a kiss and said I won't be gone for long and that I can pick up her favorite Chinese on the way back. I assumed she was upset about me not spending the afternoon with her. I got no reply. My third mistake was not spending some time talking it through. I instead went on my merry way and had a great freaking time with my friends. She spent the next few hours brewing simmering, seething, and of course overthinking. I came home with a Chinese and a and as soon as I put it down on the dining table, she sprung out of the corner and attacked me. It genuinely surprised me and I reacted by bear hugging her to my chest. She struggled with more force than she normally would and I just held her. I kept asking what was wrong. She gritted her teeth and said, you lied to me. Eventually she stopped trying to fight me and I let her go. She then told me how she feels like I lied to her about our fights and that really all the time I was laughing at her in my head as I pretended that she was actually winning. I tried to take the conversation seriously, but come on. How the hell was I supposed to take this seriously? So he chose to be a good boy. <laughs> this chick really thought, she really thought, Loki. Hey. Hey, Loki, that's enough. You've licked your pee-pee enough. Man, he is, he is, he's doing the most. I'm sorry, guys. He's over here licking his John. <laughs> but these women really be doing the most. Like, I feel like most women think that, though. They're like, if they're play fighting with their man, that he's actually being for real and that she's much stronger than she actually is. Like, like, bro, the only way that I think a chick can maybe get me is if she was straight up behind me and got me in a chokehold. But even then... Even then, I still think I could get out of a chokehold. What do you guys think? Is there any position a girl could have you in where you don't think you could get out of it? Maybe a rear naked choke, maybe, or a guillotine, maybe, or maybe an, even an arm bar. Like, I, I feel like I could get out of everything. Like an average girl, maybe not like an MMA, MMA girl or Gabby Garcia, that massive Brazilian UFC fighter chick, but like an average girl getting in a chokehold, like, bro, I could get out of that. No, no doubt I could get out of that. Boyfriend and try to get his girl to feel better by bringing up jujitsu classes. So they go ahead and take these jujitsu classes and you would never guess what the girlfriend did. And she really enjoyed it. However, it's been a few months now and I won't lie. She's been beating the crap out of me. She'll laugh while trying to break my arm and make me tap when we practice during class. It's cute, but kind of scary. However, a few days ago, she came and kissed me on the cheek telling me, I am not so terrifying anymore. I told her, oh really? Before bear hugging her and throwing her on the couch while tickling her. We both just sat there laughing afterwards. I guess the classes aren't so bad. After all, she's happy and I love seeing her so passionate about something. Update. Thought I'd update this post after four months. I am currently typing this from my hospital bed as my ex-girlfriend thought it would be funny to break my left arm and I will be pressing charges. <laughs> <laughs> she, she broke your left arm? Oh my God. This is why I say just don't even, don't even engage. Don't even engage in this type of physicality between a woman because she's going to want to compete and it's like, don't even engage in that stuff. I'll just, just run away. Stay away from that. That is insane to me. Broke, broke this man's arm? That wow. took a turn for the worse, man. I could have told him that that girl is a red flag, bro. Yeah, for she real. really wanted to be stronger than this man, and her whole ego was bruised 
mm-hmm. when she realized that she wasn't stronger. So she tried to break his hand to assert her dominance. Hell no. That's a walking red flag right there. You want to be with a girl that understands. Well, even a girl that's like, let's start taking jujitsu classes. Let's start fighting. Let's start. That's a red flag. I'm like, no, I got bills to pay. I'm not trying to go to jujitsu. I'm not trying to go to MMA. What do I look like? Conor McGregor? Alex Pereira? Israel Adesanya? I'm not trying to go fight. Baby girl, I got a mortgage. What you talking about? And the differences between men and women, because that's a girl that knows how to work with a man. You need to know your roles for the relationship to work. Yeah. You can't have one trying to dominate the other. It's toxic. We could have been a good couple. <laughs> we could have had something special. But you one crazy ass bitch. All right, so let's compare the strongest man with the strongest woman. So this right here is the heaviest squat ever done by a woman. Okay. This is 300 kgs, bro. And that's equivalent to 661 pounds. Damn. That's very fucking impressive, bro. This girl is a beast. That's what, that's way more than I could do. I'd be lucky to do like 300, 350. Only weigh 180, though. Okay. Sonita, where is she? she German? Ooh, she oh, did that. Oh, Sonita! 300 kilos got taken for a ride and she the judges. Did that. And now the strongest ever squat done by a man Ooh. is considerably higher. It's gonna we be got like 490 kgs, which is equivalent to 1,080 pounds, bro. Damn. What the fuck? But right now, I'm on Big Ray. We're here with this Ray. man looks scary. Kilos. 1080. Come on, buddy. Look at Come those on. Quads. All SBD out here at the <sighs> USA Power at the SBD Pro American at the Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus, Ohio. 477 moves well. So <laughs> Look at the guys on the side. <laughs> Why is your back arch like that? Like, look at these guys on the side. They look like pip squeaks compared to this man. David and Goliath looking at us. Let's go right. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Oh my God! Wow! He's Come on, that is crazy, bro. And if you guys actually go to the gym, you know how crazy this shit is. Yeah. Bro. If he did this shit in any gym, everyone would stop what you're doing and watch him. Look how many plates that is! Like, I don't. Even, you can't even count them. There's so many. Cause that is crazy. And I also found this video that's been circulating of women participating in a SWAT competition. Oh, God. So these female soldiers from Chile participated. And they bombed the competition, man. Two teams from the Emirates. <laughs> oh. Like kicking each other and shit. Oh. And the girls face oh. it backwards. <laughs> the first one to get wet in the ice bath today. She's like, come on, Patricia. What and, the hell uh, was that, Petunia? Look at them. Well, Look at them. They are stuck uh, in the middle of that zip line. Swing it, honey. And all the men passed the first obstacle. <laughs> Go back, go back, go back. It, it was like it was like the other girl kicking the other girl for me. I gotta go Soldiers back. Soldiers from Chile participated, and they bombed the oh, competition. All right, here we go, here we go. She's like, two teams like from kicks the her, bumps into each other. The other girl's oh. facing the other way. <laughs> oh. Oh. What the hell, Patricia? And it, and it looks the like she's laughing. In the ice bath today. She was mad as hell. And. Uh, <laughs> Put your hips well, into it, honey. We are stuck in the middle of that zip line. And all the men passed the first obstacle with no issues. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm not saying all the women bombed the first. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, how do you make it look so difficult when the men make it look so easy? First obstacle, because there were some women that did better than some of the men. Let's see here, okay. All right, swinging across. Okay, okay, these chicks are doing good. These chicks are doing good, okay. What bad Chile did in this competition, man. <laughs> oh, it's all going horribly wrong. Hold on. And, um, and see, women just don't even have the grip strength that men have. And it's like the fact that she's holding there with that gear on, it's like, it's pretty impressive, but they just don't have the same grip strength as we do. Well, forget about getting wet. The, uh, the violations, the major safety violations for dropping weapons in the water 
just drop. You were sent to this competition to put on for the women, and you go ahead and do this shit? Come on now, man. While we're on the subject of the military, here is a sparring battle between a male and a female soldier. Oh, no. And it got so bad that the male soldier had to be held back. What, did they just tell him, hey, go all out, give it to her? Give her the business? Oh, God, this is going to be good. Oh, no. Charge up. Oh, no. Round one. Fight. All women are queens. <laughs> Each straight ran her over. She had no ch <laughs> Okay, come back, come back. Look at the guys over here. Look at these guys. Watch them. Round one. Watch the guys over here. I love that. <laughs> these guys oh, are, women are queens. <laughs> I saw this guy coming. Look, these guys. Excellent hit. They're like. <laughs> They're all laughing. Because she probably wanted the smoke. She's probably like, I can take it. Ooh, I don't know, honey. Rays. Yeah, and they ended up doing a second round, which I applaud her for trying again. But it probably wasn't a good idea. Oh. Round two. Oh, no. If she breathes, she's a fuck! Bonk! You barely even hit her that time. Bonk! <laughs> Round three. Bang! I make it look easy. Ping! Sorry! Eat my dust! Hey, look at me, ma! Ah, oh, fellas! There's a clear difference between- Oh, brother! Between <laughs> the strength of a man and a woman. We should not be afraid to admit that this should be common knowledge, bro. I remember a time that this was a common knowledge. My mom stopped hitting me when I turned 12, 13, bro, because her hits started to feel like nothing. At that age, I started getting taller than her, bigger mm -hmm. than her. She couldn't hit me no more, Same, bro. bro. But I still have respect for her because that's my mom. But she know, man. They know. She would ask me to. Bro, I remember when I was like, I was like 12 or Loki. Go to your place. I need my co-star. Lay down for me. Good boy. I need my co-star. I remember when I was like. 12 or 13 I had done something and my mom wanted to spank me and she spanked me and I just straight up laughed I was just <laughs> I was like this doesn't hurt <laughs> hitting me with the belt too so I was raised up in the days where parents you know they smacked you with a belt like my dad spanked me with a belt you know what I mean my mom spanked me with a belt like it got to the point where my mom's like oh, spanking's not gonna work on him so let me just ground him from like his xbox because that that I cared about you know what I mean? Playing games with the boys. I grew up in the era where Halo 2 online was like what we did. So, you know, I was always playing Halo 2. Like during the summer, bro, eight, 10 hour days. After school, every day, six hours. My mom was just bringing dinner in the room because I was, I was locked in. I was trying to go pro, didn't even know. If I, dude, I should have started streaming back then. I should have started doing YouTube back then during the Halo 2 days. Man, those were the good old days. Man, man, oh man, the Halo 2 days. Well, you could just boot up online and you could stand by and cheat and oh man, it was a different time. But my mom knew better than to spank me, dude. She knew better because I would just laugh at her. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm, I'm taller than you. I'm 12 years old or 13. I'm taller than you, bigger than you. Like, what are you about to do? You're five, six. I'm already six foot with, by the time I'm 13. Now I was straight scrawny, skin and bones, bones, McGone, Skeletor, but... I was still bigger than her, still stronger than her. I had more upper body strength than her. You know what I mean? Like, and, and at one point, I, I, dude, I had broke my arm twice in seventh grade. I broke my arm skateboarding, got it out of a cast, went skateboarding again, broke it again. And I knew I could still box. I knew I could still, you know, if I had to, I could fight. Like, it's just completely different times now. It's like, we're not equal. We're different. And that's okay. Like, this whole fight for equality has been to the detriment of society. We thrive off of each other's differences. Do I think we're equal as humans? Yes, we have the same human rights, right? I believe that you should be able to, to go out and achieve the same things that I should be able to go out and to achieve. But it's, at the end of the day, we are very much so different. We bring different strengths to the table. Women are more nurturing, feminine, beautiful, inspirational. Men are more, men are stronger. We're more confident. We're more 
more steadfast, we're more stoic. You know what I mean? We're more impervious, keen, noble, things like this. Like we're, we're just different. And if we bring these things together, we can live in harmony. But it's when women think they should be men or get treated like men that that's like the disparaging part of society right now. Because men, we haven't changed. We're still the same. Or let me know. Let me know in the comments. Have men changed over the years? Are we demanding more out of women? Are we demanding what we've always demanded? Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. Like, are, are we asking for something we weren't asking for back in the day? I'm pretty sure if I asked my grandfather what he was asking for in my grandmother, he would be like, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. I'm pretty sure... And, and the natural thing wasn't even a thing back then. It's just a thing now. You know what I mean? But but you ask women what they want. They want this, that, and the third, and the whole shebang. They want the table, the tablecloth, the, the silverware, the kitchen sink. They want everything. Six foot, six inches, six pack, six figures. Other women want him. He's a he's a brillionaire. He has a Lambo. He has multiple houses. They just they just want it all. They're they're not okay with having just an average guy. Where us as men, we are the true romantics, and we are, we are okay with having an average woman. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.